What's going on, YouTube? I'm D. Ellis. Welcome back to another episode of Crime Circuit. For this video, we're going to be speaking on Alpo Martinez. And a lot of y'all might know, you know, who this person is. But um, make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you do know this story already, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. Um... With all that being said, guys, make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm D. Ellis. This is Crime Circuit. Let's get into the intro. Albert Geddes Martinez, better known as Alpo Martinez, or simply known as Alpo or Poe was an American drug dealer from Harlem, New York City, of Puerto Rican descent. Martinez rose to prominence in the mid-1980s. In addition to the New York, Martinez expanded his drug trade to the other cities, notably Washington, D.C. Martinez started selling drugs at the age of 13 years old in the East Harlem section of New York. In 1985, he met West Side Harlem drug dealer as a Faison. Martinez started to move up the chain of drug dealers in Harlem and eventually become one of the biggest drug dealers in the city. Martinez would later move to Washington, D.C. to expand operations, where he quickly became involved in the city's underworld and elevated his drug activities. This is where he met Wayne Silk Perry, a notorious gangster of D.C., better known as an enforcer who would later become his bodyguard and his hitman. On November 7th of 1991, Martinez would be arrested in Washington, D.C. for selling drugs. He was charged with conspiracies to commit murder, various drug charges, and 14 counts of murder, including the murder of D.C. drug dealer Michael Anthony Salters, a.k.a. Frey, and Brooklyn drug dealer Demencio Benson. Facing the possibility of either death or life without the possibility of parole, Martinez turned informant and testified against members of his own organization. For his testimony against Perry, remember guys, this was his hitman who received five consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. Martinez was sentenced to 35 years in prison. Martinez was released in 2015 while serving a 25-year sentence for 14 counts of murder at ADX Florence, a federal supermax prison located in Fremont County, Colorado. He was released after testifying against former associates and had been living under a United States Witness Protection Program in Lewiston, Maine. Under the assumed name Abraham G. Rodriguez, until shortly before his death in 2021, according to the website, Martinez was in the Federal Witness Protection Program awaiting a new identity. Now, on the morning of October 31st, 2021, at 3.30 a.m., Martinez was fatally shot five times in Harlem, New York, while seated in his 2017 Dodge Ram. According to various media outlets, including The Source magazine, Hot 97, All Hip Hop, and the New York Times, Shaquem Parker was later charged with his murder. Several media outlets later reported that Martinez was killed over a road, road rage incident. Alright y'all, I know this was a short one. Um, Of course, this story can get a whole lot deeper, you know, going down the whole rabbit hole um, of his life. Uh, but I'm going to keep it kind of simple with this one. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, we're on the road to getting this channel monetized. Um, so do me a favor, help me out, subscribe, like, you know, do all that stuff. Uh, I'm D. Ellis. Once again, this is Crime Circuit. Until next time, peace, y'all.